Um, it's such a pleasure to hear you speak and see you in person. I really enjoyed your first book. What I wanted to ask is, what are your personal definitions of success? And Jed, thank you already for sharing that. So this question is for Amy. Um, actually, I agree. I think my, I think my, my definition of success is also achieving your own goals. And this is something that we talk a lot about in the triple package about these generational interdynamics, which I'm very interested in because they directly relate to Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother. I mean, that whole memoir was about, I was raised by strict immigrant parents and it came out fine for me in the sense that I'm very grateful for the life it allowed me to have. I then tried to apply this method to my two daughters and it worked with my first daughter, but my second daughter totally rebelled. She was born saying, no, I don't want any part of this. And the book was, there's a line in that book that says, you know, this is predi uh, following a predictable pattern. I was raised, you know, feeling, I didn't use the term insecurity, but you know, my parents were very poor. My, my dad wore the same pair of shoes for 10 years. We just never went out. Um, and we all worked through school, public schools. But my daughters, they're not wealthy, but they're more privileged. They're middle class. They have, we have two cars. They have a comfortable home. And it's very difficult to light that fire under them. If I say, when my father said you have to get an A, I knew, I understood why, because my dad was working till three in the morning. Mm -hmm. When I say to my daughter, you need to get an A, she's, why? I, I don't get it. I, I totally don't get it. And, I, and I, I actually don't have such a great answer. I'm just because, you know, in the family. And, uh, and so and what I say in the book is like, well, this is a perfect example of generational decline. This happens, and that it's a half facetious line, but I say, well, not on my watch. And in a way, the battle referred to in Battle of the Tiger Mother is a battle, I guess, with my daughter, a battle against generational forces, a battle against Western forces. It's a, it's a whole, you know, whole thing. And in the end, I only have succeeded. You know, I mean, I, you can't, I think the forces are, it's, it's what Jed said, that success, however you define it, or comfort, um, contains the seeds of its own decline in some ways. You know, if you're just not terrified that you aren't going to make it, why would you work so hard? Um, so, that I, that's a long-winded answer to when you say, what's my definition? I think that in my own way, I rebelled against what my parents wanted me to be. I mean, they wanted me to be a doctor, to get a PhD. I was bad at it. Believe it or not, when I went to law school, my mother cried. It was a long time ago. She didn't really understand what that was. She just thought it was, you know. Um, and my own two children now, 18 and 21, incredibly proud of them. But I can tell you what my daughter Sophia, all of the choices that she's making, are not any of them choices that I would make. I mean, I'm proud of them, and I think she's applying the same, I like to think she's applying the same sort of motivation and you know commitment to things that she chooses, but they are completely um, uh, choices of her own. And you know, I trust her to do that, and I think it's gonna come out well, but they are her definitions of success, absolutely. Um, I think she answered it. 